this video we will understand the steps to be followed for the fish triangle problem in chartwork to solve this problem that is there are 14 steps to be followed to solve the fish triangle problem so in fish triangle problem generally the question in question it is given from the first point two bearings will be given at different times so first bearing and second bearing suppose first bearing is given at 0 0 0 0 hours so second bearing will be given as given at 0 0 3 0 hours so suppose this is one point and uh, two bearings are given from the same point but different time so this is around half an hour difference then the third bearing will be given from the second point third bearing will be given the so third bearing after another half an hour it is given so it will be 0 1 0 0 hours okay so something like this is given in the fish triangle problem and also you will be given you will be given the force to steer CTS and you will be given the speed and now you have to find out so this is given this is given you have to find out the CMG the SMG and the position at 0000 and 0100 so this is the overview of a problem which needs to be solved by the method called the fish triangle so this we will understand the steps how to solve this problem two lighthouses this is one lighthouse this is other lighthouse now two bearings are given so i will draw the bearing line so this is first bearing that is at 0000 and here it is second bearing that is at 0030 and one bearing from this lighthouse is given that is 0100 so we will mark this is 0000 bearing this is 0030 bearing and this is 0100 bearing this is one lighthouse suppose lighthouse lighthouse one this is lighthouse two now first step we need to draw the bearings so we have drawn the bearings that is step one is completed the next step is we have to plot the cts so we'll plot cts this is cts we are plotting from any point okay. and we will mark it as a b a and b now we will mark half an hour points so suppose speed is 12 knots it will be given in the question 12 knots speed so for half an hour it will run for six miles it will run a distance of six miles in half an hour as the middle bearing is at 30 minutes from a and it is also 30 minutes from b so we will mark the arc of six miles from both sides so we will mark an arc so suppose this is an arc of six miles from here also we will mark an arc of six miles so we have these two positions so this is step three is completed so step one we have drawn the bearings step two we have drawn the cts and step three we have marked the arcs for half an hour or whatever the time interval will be there you have to mark the arc accordingly now we have to transfer the pls from a and b so we need to transfer this bearing we will transfer here and this bearing we will transfer here from a and b we will transfer to the new points that is c and d so these points are c and d so we will transfer the pls So this is point CD and where they are coinciding this point is we will take E. Okay. Just make sure to draw double arrows on the transfer PL. Okay. This is double arrow. So this is point E. We have marked point E. We have transferred the PL from A and B and wherever they are coinciding it will be point E. Okay. So next step is from C we have to plot the set on second transfer PL at point F. So from C, so we have two PLs, this one and this one. So from C, we will draw the set. So we will draw the set. So from C, we will draw a set on the second transfer PL that is D. Okay. So we have drawn the set. And set, as you know, we will draw with three arrows. So we will draw three arrows on it. One, two, and three. Okay. And we will mark this point as F. This is from C to F. That is a set. Okay. After that, from F, F to G. We will draw the CTS. So we know CTS is this one. So we will draw parallel to it. We will draw parallel to this CTS. This one. Okay, we have drawn the CTS from F to G. 
now we need to join a and g so a and g we will join now so a and g from a to g okay we'll join a and g so wherever it is cutting the current so this is the set so wherever it is cutting that point we will mark as h so this point is h now we need to join e and h so h and e this point we need to join e to h we will join and extend it so that it will cut the second bearing so we will extend this to extend this so that it will cut the second bearing okay. so it is cutting the second bearing here we will mark as point i okay. this is point i this point wherever it is cutting the second bearing then we need to again apply set here on i so wherever it is cutting the first transferred pl apply the set passing through i which cuts first transfer and second transfer pl at point j and t okay. so we will apply the set and we will extend it till the transfer pls okay. so this is again set so we will mark it with three arrows okay. now we have to draw cts from j and k so these points are j and k this point is j and this point is k now we need to draw again the cts from here i will use the green color again so this is cts and also i need to draw the cts here So this we have drawn join l and m l and m is so from j to this l this is l and this is from k to m now we need to join l and m l and m we will join so we will join l and m so this is your force made good cmg is force made good is l and m we need to find smg so smg you can find out speed made good you know the course you can measure the distance and divide by whatever is the time so you will get the uh, speed Speed made good. Also positions, positions you can make out. This is zero one zero zero R position, and this is uh, this is your zero 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 position, and this is zero zero three zero position. So CMG we found out. Okay, then SMG will be you can measure distance, and you can apply for half an hour, zero point five. So you will get SMG. Positions are here. This is this is your zero 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 PL. So this is the position at zero 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 R. 0030 pl so this is the position at 0030 hours and this is the position at 0100 hours so i hope this helped you and you can follow these steps there are 14 steps in all till you find out your positions